videos because I'm not one to tell half truths or half story. Um, I like to tell the whole story. Um, and the whole story is not what you see in some of the videos I do. Um, for the last year and a half, up until a few weeks ago, I never could have done the other videos that you guys have been watching. 80 to 90 percent of the time, I'm actually worse than what I am right this minute. Today's not been too bad. I feel pretty lucky. Um, I've been running a fever all day, um, kind of weak. Um, you know, just don't feel good. So, um, mostly, though, my goal for this video is um, is just to put it in conjunction with. Um, the other videos. I don't want you guys to just hear what I have to say, but I'd like for you guys to see what exactly happens when a person gets sick and and what it's like for them uh, to try to get medical treatment. Um, it's pretty hard to be sick every day for so long and uh, not be able to be seen by a specialist or to get the test done that you, you need done. Um, I was always the kind of person that, even though I, I'd had a chronic illness since I was very young, I was always very active and loved to go out and dance and loved music and loved to jog and I was just so active and um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get my life back one day. Um, I'd like to get out of this bed and stay out of it for more than 10 minutes. I'd like to go outside and go for a walk, um, but I can't do those things right now. I can bring videos to you though, and I can tell you and, sh and show you through the use of technology exactly what happens um, when you get sick as an adult and you're unable to work because you're too sick to work and your insurance has ran out. Um, I hope that you guys find our videos educational and enlightening. Um, I hope that it brings awareness and understanding to this to the real situation. And another reason to uh, for me doing this video here today is connective tissue disease because it is more prevalent than cancer is in America today. As horrible as cancer is. Um, it's hard to believe that something could actually be more prevalent than cancer. Um, and unfortunately, there's just not enough awareness about it. So um, I would like to help spread awareness. And anybody watching um, who suffers from a connective tissue disease, feel free to contact me and um, let's work together. Um, if you don't want to do videos, there's, there's plenty of other things you can do. Um, but this is me guys, 80 to 90 percent of the time I'm in my bed uh, running a fever uh, and that's a good day for me actually. Um, today's not really been that bad. I'm, I'm actually very lucky. Um, but I, w I do want to spread awareness for connective tissue disease and I do want to educate you guys on what it's like to, to be sick and, and not be able to get medical treatment and get your illness resolved or your symptoms relieved. Um, I, I hope that you guys uh, enjoy our videos and that you'll give us some feedback. Feedback is so important. Um, you know, I think when you have a fever, you tend to ramble and you tend to not be able to put your thoughts together very well. So I think I'm not going to keep you guys. Um, I think I'm going to let you go and um, get some rest. I wish you all really good health and a wonderful day or night. Thanks for watching. And um, I look forward to bringing you a more energetic video, hopefully tomorrow. You know what? We'll just see what tomorrow brings. If not tomorrow, then maybe the next day. Take care. Good health and good night.
you're going to see me um, able to do a video and sometimes you're going to see me like this. Huh? Sorry. But that's what happens when people get sick. The last thing I want is for people to see me on a video looking uh, not my best. Um, that surely isn't something I ever wanted. But I find it important because it helps tell the whole story of what people go through when they get sick. Um, and you guys will probably see some things uh, and watch me go through certain things, um, like when I need to go to the doctor or when other things happen um, and my pain levels uh, go through the roof. Um, also, you'll notice sometimes my uh, face changes and uh, its shape because of my medication. I'm on uh, high doses of steroids and it rounds out my face and uh, it rounds out anyone's face who has to take it. Um, it's a pretty harsh medication and um, has a lot of freaky side effects. But um, because of the fever, I'm not going to keep you guys long. I feel like I'm not doing the best job putting my, my words together.